Okay, everybody, this is going to be the second part of the video. Unfortunately, I noticed, you probably noticed I got cut off a little bit. I wasn't mindful of the time there. We put the points in. We're on to salary. We're going to do this function. Equals sum product. We're going to do the in column down to 202. Usually, like I said, it would be 201, but we're going to do it at 202 tonight because we had to bring in a defense because uh, for whatever reason we did the value is for those of you who weren't watching it didn't record the value on it, the, didn't think the defense was offered enough value, if you can figure that one out. And we're going to do salary. This is the salary row. So we're going to multiply our in column by our salary, just like we just did our in column by our points. And we're going to get zero. That's what we want, because zero times any number is always going to be zero. Salary, points. How many players are there? We have to tell it how many we want. We want nine, right? We've got a quarterback running back, a running back, wide receiver, wide receiver, wide receiver, tight end, flex, and a DST. So there's, so there's nine players. So we're going to do this. Equals. This isn't going to be a sum product. It's just sum. We want the sum total of the in column. So we're going to go down to the very end again, which will be 202. And, uh, you know, let me go back up. 202. There we are. We're going to close it. Remember to always close everything with parentheses or it won't work. And you'll be saying I'm doing everything right. And it, you kind of are, but without closing it, it doesn't work. So we're going to then put in our parameters. We're going to have a quarterback. How many quarterbacks are we going to have? We're going to have one. We're going to have running back. How many running backs are we going to have? We're going to have two. Now, there'll be a flex spot, and we're going to go over that in just a second, but hold on. We're going to have wide receiver. We're going to have three. We're going to have tight end. We're going to have one. We're going to have a DST, right? And we're going to need one of those. Okay, now in here we're going to put equals sum, the sum for the quarterback. We're going to do the whole entire quarterback row, which I'm just going to do a little tap over here, make it J202. Close, and to, to save time, we're going to do running backs, which is right here, so we're going to go down. Hold on. Oh, I forgot to put my formula. That would help, wouldn't it? Equal <laughs> sum of the running backs. All right, something's not right here. Delete equals sum. There we go. And we're going to go to 202. We're going to close it. Hit enter. I'm going to do wide receiver. It's going to be the same thing. Equals sum down to 202. We're going to close it. Zero. Tight end. Again, same thing. Equals sum. Sum of what? The tight end column. Down to 202. M, in this case, M202. Close it. And a DST equals sum of what? Of the DST row, N through N202. We're going to close it. Enter. Now over here, we can have, always have one quarterback. But because of the flex position, we could have three, possibly three running backs. We could have possibly four wide receivers. And we could possibly have two tight ends. Okay? So with that being said, we now have uh, our parameters set up for the amount of players that we want, how much money we want, etc. This video is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to stop it. Uh, no, I'm actually I'm going to keep going here because we'll, uh, I think I might have enough time to do it. We're going to pull open the add-ons column. The add-ons? Yeah, the open solver. I'm going to open the sidebar. If you don't know how to get open solver on this, Unruh Whisperwind has a video showing you how to do it. And I'm also sure if you just put how do I get solver on Google Sheets, there's probably 400 videos on what to do. Uh, you just go to the Google uh, store or whatever it is and just download it to the thing and it's done. It's free too. Everything on here is free. All right, so we're going to uh, begin by updating our... Uh, Okay, we're going to begin by, by loading our solver. So our objective cell is what we want to do. We want to update the points. So we're going to update that. We want the most points. That's what this whole point of this exercise is, under the salary cap. The variable column, right? We're going to have to do that. All right, 
no problem. We go over to the variables, which is the in column right here. And we're going to pull down to 202, if you remember, because we brought in that extra defense. So let's do that. And there it is. Okay. And we're going to add. And see, it puts it right in for you. There's your variable column. You need to have that because that's telling you where you're gonna where it's gonna do the most of the dirty work, so to speak. Now we're gonna go in and we're gonna add constraints. We're gonna add a new constraint. Well, we know we need this cell. No, I'm sorry, the points. We want this cell, which is our salary cell. It has to be, so we're gonna update that cell. This amount of money has to be equal to or less than $50,000. It can't be over it because then you go over the salary cap and it doesn't work. And then we're going to click save. All right. Then we're going to do players. This update has to be equal to. It can't be equal to or less than. It must be equal to. We need exactly nine players. So we're going to put equal to. And we're going to update it. And we're going to put save. Then we're going to do quarterback update has to be equal to because we just need one quarterback equal to this we're going to update it okay then we're going to go over to running back well this running back we might have two but with the flex we could need three so we need equal to or less than this update save it then we're going to go over to the three on the running back and it has to be we're going to update that cell and it has to be equal to or greater than this number update it and save it we're going to do here we're going to do update and it has to be equal to or less than this number so we're going to update that we're going to click save then we're going to do this number update has to be equal to or less than this number update and save that's my son in the background if you hear him equals Update, it less than or equal to this number. Update, save. This is pretty boring, but this is how you get it to work. This, update, greater than or equal to this. We're going to update. We're going to save. Then we're going to use this. It has to be equal to this. We're going to update it. We're going to save it. Sorry. This update has to be equal to this update. Save. All right, there we go. Now we're going to go over to the lock column. Right? Remember that column? And we're going to use the in column down to 202. Has to be, we're going to update that has to be greater than or equal to this column, which is the lock column. So we're going to just put that in there. We're going to update it. We're going to save it. Now we're going to go do one more step here. We're going to go over to the in column one more time. And we're going to do this whole in column down to 202. And I'm going to explain what we're doing here. I think Unruh Whispering actually brought this point up too. He's 100% he's correct. Excel by Joe does it. Everybody that makes optimizers will tell you. You have to take this, update it, and we're going to change it to binary. Because what we don't need to be doing is giving us like seven-tenths of a wide receiver. That's that's not going to help us, right? We're going to save it. All right? I save it? Okay. All right, so that is your solver. It's now full. However, what I like to do in the next step, and I'm going to actually stop right here, and I'm going to begin part three of the video in just a moment.